Information Network at BINnews.com. Renee brings you ArrayCrew.com. Finally, there's a platform where film and TV productions can find qualified crew members of all kinds, cultures, genders, and backgrounds. Grits, gaffers, camera people, costumers, script supervisors, scenic painters, craft services are kind of left out in the cold and are not part of the inclusion conversation. We're not just promoting diversity and inclusion. We're delivering it. Sign up now and showcase your work. It's completely free to crew members, always. We are hoping that this changes behavior and takes away one of the many barriers that has you know, allowed so many people of different kinds to be left out of the movie making process. Real representation, real change, real progress. Learn more at ArrayCrew.com. 910 AM, KKSF, Oakland, the Black Information Network. Tell your smart device to play Bay Area's BIN 910 on iHeartRadio. I'm Doug Davis, and here's the latest from the Black Information Network. The House panel investigating the origins of COVID-19 is focusing a paper that concludes the virus did not come from a lab leak. Republicans have claimed the paper was used as a cover-up by top health officials to dismiss the lab leak theory. Advocacy groups are calling for a federal investigation into New Jersey State Police internal practices. New Jersey's NAACP Director Richard Smith says the department has a long-standing history of internal bias, which has resulted in 17 discrimination lawsuits. Amtrak service remains suspended along parts of the East Coast after two cars derailed at Union Station in Washington, D.C. Services are on hold between D.C. and Richmond, Virginia. After this morning's incident, no injuries were reported. That is the latest. I'm Doug Davis from the Black Information Network at BINnews.com. And I'm Kevin Brown on your home for 24-7 News, the Black Information Network. A Louisiana judge has reversed counts against two police officers charged in connection with a fatal arrest in 2019 of black motorist like Ronald Green. Former state troopers John Peters and Dakota DeMoss are no longer being charged with obstruction of justice in the case. The 49-year-old died after an encounter with officers who said Green was resisting arrest, which ended in a pursuit with troopers and a car crash in neighboring city. His family said they were initially told Green died on impact from the collision, but body cam video released two years ago showed Green being pulled from his car and brutally beaten and tasered by officers. I'm Doug Davis on the Black Information Network. Police officials are confirming there was significant confusion during their response to a mass shooting in Philadelphia over the July 4th holiday. Officers apparently were dispatched to the wrong address, hindering discovery of a victim who investigators say was the first of five murder victims. Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw said the error compounds the tragedy and that administrative investigations are underway. Prosecutors say 40-year-old Kim Brady Karika stalked the neighborhood the following night wearing body armor and firing an assault rifle, killing four people. He's charged with murder. Hair dyeing products are associated with increased cancer risk, a study by the International Journal of Cancer, first published in December of 2019, surveyed nearly 5,000 women between the ages of 35 to 74 over eight years. The data found women who regularly use permanent hair dye had a 9% greater likelihood of developing breast cancer compared to those who didn't use hair dye regularly. Although hair dyes have been known to contain endocrine disrupting compounds and carcinogens, Earlier research results were inconsistent. This study found evidence of a higher risk of breast cancer linked to hair dye. Climate change is the trajectory for extreme weather. That word from New York Governor Kathy Hochul who calls it our new normal. Major U.S. cities were covered in smoke from Canadian wildfires last month. Meanwhile, there was a dangerous heat wave in Texas and Oklahoma, followed by unprecedented flooding in parts of Chicago after torrential rains. Jeff Berardelli is chief meteorologist and climate specialist for WFLA News in Tampa, Florida. 
He says things are primed to get even worse with a powerful El Nino developing in the Pacific Ocean, leading to increased severe weather around the world. Georgia is feeling the pride over a historic run by Atlanta native Chris Eubanks, who continues with his upset win over the number five seed. The 27-year-old Georgia Tech grad defeating Stefano Sitsipas in five sets to reach the quarterfinals. Eubanks attended Westlake High School before going on to become a two-time NCAA All-American at Georgia Tech. For more of these stories, that's in and out. You don't know if it's going to be a little bit of a little Social media, follow the BIN on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Black Information Network and on Twitter at Black Info. I'm Carrie McCready along with Kevin Brown on your home for 24-7 News, the Black Information Network. Cross. Security. Stupid Americans. Second, teach them to pick up and put so cross their against Third, the light. I have the green light, not the band. Have them brush their Stupid teeth and use the them. Polly, put them in bed, read them a book, express their faith through prayer if you'd like, and then turn off the light. For some children, a night light may be turned on in the room or in the hallway. Whatever you decide that to do, kill keeping you. a routine That's will help your kids learn to be yep. disciplined and manage their time wisely. This is Scott and Dion, and this is Practical Parenting on the Black Information Network. Any plans to support the $50 million 
on the supplemental, I introduced to fund the Office of Reparations, the staffing, uh, the committee's approved recommendations, a database to locate eligible participants. I have no plans at this time to support that request. Thank you. That's some of the news happening around the Bay Area. I'm Natasha Williams on your home for 24-7 News, San Francisco's BIN. College Fund is one of the nation's leading advocates for the importance of minority education and community engagement. Lend your support at uncf.org. That is uncf.org. Black news you need every 30 minutes on the Black Information Network. The Bay Area, BIN 910. The DC comic book and movie franchise Wonder Woman features the story of a beautiful Amazon superhero warrior. And once I finally destroy Larry, the German army will be freed from his influence. But did you know there was also a black Wonder Woman as well? Created by writer Don Heck, her name was Nubia, and she made her comic book debut in 1973 as DC Comics' first black superhero. Similar to Wonder Woman, Nubia has super strength, magical weaponry, and comes from a floating island where her family rules. Wonder Woman and Nubia met for the first time in a special DC Comics issue, and the two battled in combat before becoming friends. In 1975, actress Teresa Graves was scheduled to play a black female superhero in the Wonder Woman TV series that was based on the Nubia character, but the character was never written into the TV script. DC Comics reintroduced Nubia to readers in the early 2000s, and they finally bring her to the big screen in the Wonder Woman movie franchise. And that's a fact. I'm Big Sue for the Black Information Network. If something's happening in your community, we want to know about it. Call the Black Information Network hotline and speak up. 855-500-9BIN. If it matters to the black community, a lawsuit that was looking for reparations related to the 1921 Tulsa race massacre has been dismissed. It's on the Black Information Network. 7 News and Analysis. And the Tennessee Department of Transportation is seizing land from black farmers and landowners using eminent domain. You'll only get here. The Bay Area's BIN 910 and on the iHeartRadio app. I'm Bill Black with another Get You Didn't Know Music Fact. And now, my friends, let's spend some time talking about one of my favorite singers in the world, Miss Anita Baker. And now let's play a song from the Boomerang soundtrack. What does Anita Baker have to do with the Boomerang soundtrack? I'll tell you. L.A. Baker did the Boomerang motion picture soundtrack. They even submitted songs to Anita Baker. At the time, Anita declined the songs because she was pregnant and just couldn't do it. So she suggested, how about you let the girl on the demo record the song? Who was the girl on the demo? Tony Braxton. So we can thank Anita for giving us Tony. I'm Bill Black with another Bet You Didn't Know Music Fact on the Black Information Network. Speak out about what's happening in your community. Call the Black Information Network hotline at 855-500-9BIN. The opinions, beliefs, and viewpoints expressed in this commentary are those of the author and do not necessarily represent those of BIN and its founding partners and employees. Now it's time to bring the funk with Roland S. Martin. So I went to a restaurant the other day in Atlanta and it was weird. The bill came and it had tip amounts at 22%, 27%, and 32 percent i'm sorry come again i mean it used to be you would get the bill for tips and it was say 12 15 18 then it was 15 18 20 then it was 18 20 22. i've never seen a bill come with a suggested 32 percent tip you don't even see that in las vegas not only that you now go to places and you're ordering the food from the counter and they're asking for a tip, okay? I'm real confused now. Now, all right, I get it. There's some restaurant owners who say, well, we have to do this because we can't raise prices. No, you raise the prices, 
That's what you do. But I can't imagine tipping one third of my meal. It, but what gets me though is when I'm asked to tip and there's been no service. So it's not like I sat down and they brought water to me and they brought drinks to me. And they took my food order, brought me my food. I asked for another napkin or a fork and they that's service. But I'm not going to pay a tip when I order at the counter and I'm standing there waiting for my food and then I gotta go get my own napkin and fork from another uh, counter. That ain't gonna happen. This tipping thing has gotten crazy out of control. I agree. I totally agree. Period. I'm Roland Martin on the Black Information Network. I really agree on that. Yeah.